I see some hair, like a like a hairdo. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like a listen, couple I didn't say the sword couldn't have pom poms. <laughs> Welcome back to another Linux Incast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin Stone here at LGC Actual. I'll be switching the bits, doing the nightmare fuel. Along for our little ride is one Jordan Swang. You know him, you love him. The man who only plays with modern controls, because he's that modern. Yes. And of course, Pedro Mateus, joining us from the Isles of Britannia. And together with your shot room dynamic, <laughs> helping us form Cocaine Voltron. What's up? What's new? What's going on? We got a big show for you this afternoon, this evening, whatever time. Motorcycle guy! <laughs> Special yes. guest star! West Coast Choppers! <laughs> Every single time. <laughs> Dude, I was getting worried. I haven't heard him in a while, man. Uh, Where did he die? <laughs> ah, well, I mean, that happens to motorcycle. That could be like motorcycle guy Mark. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's like Robin. There's like 16 of these fuckers. They just keep dying. And... Yeah, this is this is Robin. Oh, right. Oh, dude, that's a dark <laughs> wall somewhere in the bad cave, isn't it? Right, Where yeah. Just like, <laughs> Put another one down. <laughs> Tonight, a lot of Steam stuff. Valve has moved. They did some good. And uh, we're going to wrap things up with a little bit of uh, flat sales for the game industry, but uh, we might be celebrating it. So stick around for that. But first, I want your opinion. We were talking in the pre-show about game difficulty, right? This is a thing, you know, most games, uh, even back in the NES days, man, you could select your game difficulty. Like, what's your standard? Easy, medium, hard, right? Those are your three go-tos? Between the three of us, that would be about it. Yeah? Yeah. Unless the, hurt, you have those games hurt, that hurt just start plenty. at normal <laughs> and then have right. hard. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, I think famously, um, what was it? Uh, Rockman, Mega Man, the North American uh, and European version was the nerf down easy mode. <laughs> Mega Man's an interesting one because, like, there is definitely an easy mode you can select via the boss order or you can do, like, a harder mode if you, like, pick a different Right. Mode. I'm still going through... Uh, Darksiders 3. I got stuck at a boss. I got stuck at I got stuck at the same boss the internet got stuck at. Nobody likes this boss. This boss is bullshit. He's an anomaly. He's a pain in the ass. And I play on normal. I don't know about you at home. I, I'm not looking to pull my fucking um hair out. Usually default. Unless it's like too easy, because I don't like story mode, right? This is what Darksiders got. It's got story, it's got normal, then it's got like six levels of Dark Soulsness to it. <laughs> I keep bouncing against this boss, like, about a week. I'd come in every now and then, maybe, you know, once every other day, and I'd put a little time in it. Like, I gotta go, I gotta get by this, because this is the only game right now that's even remotely interesting to me, and I want to finish the story. Couldn't do it. So I had to do the thing. I changed the difficulty setting. And that's what <laughs> I want to know. Have you ever hit a spot in a game, and how do you feel about it when you, like... Or are you just not able to get that good? Or are you justifying it to yourself? I'm like, I just want to finish the rest of this game. The rest of the internet agrees with me that this is some bullshit right here that shouldn't even be in the game. It's a unique situation. And you've already... Yeah, in that specific case, I think that I would probably be okay with. Generally, I don't like doing it because it... It, it, it it's it's between me and the game, right? Like, right? yeah, no, th th this is a... Uh, I, I need to beat my head against this thing until I beat it or it will defeat me, those are the two options. I can win or I can lose. You don't want to admit defeat. And it's a bad mark in, in like, your head because it's all in your head. Yeah. <laughs> it's and, like, and, and, no, I was defeated by the thing. Going back to what we were talking about in the, in the, in the pre-show, it's a fucking video game. You shouldn't get that mad about things. It's stupid. It's not real. Right. It's, That's the yeah. rational part of your brain talking to you. And I'm sitting there going, man, like, yeah. <sighs> I spent a day not even like thinking it. I'm like, you know, I could change it. Just yeah. change it to story mode. Nuke this motherfucker. Kick it back up to where I need it to be and finish the game. That's what I ended up doing. That is what I ended up doing. I felt a little bit vindicated by this though. Because when I beat that guy, I got a Steam achievement and I went and looked at it. Only 43% of the people who played this game have beaten this boss. <laughs> Steam achievements are a great way to tell exactly where the wall is. 
I was just personally surprised because as a Linux gamer, uh, Linux gamers, we are better video game players than Windows and my, well, at least Windows players and console player. Well, maybe not even console. Definitely just I, I, Windows I, I, players. Now, let me tell you why. Let me tell you, you why. You, you, Hear you, it you, out. You, Watch that. Look at that. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> we don't have, because here's something I looked for. I'm like, is there like a trainer on Linux yet? Like, no, I was like, yes. I, I was at this point of like, I just need to get by this one motherfucker and I'm good for the rest of the game. Clear sailing. And there wasn't. And I'm like, we, I've grown up with that. Like, I've never used a trader in a video game before. The cheat engine works for almost everything, though. To that point, though, um, you know, back in the day, you couldn't switch for difficulties in the middle of your game. Right. Was, That's it, a it new was, thing. It, it was the thing that you, yeah, it was the thing that you selected at the start of the game mm -hmm. and that was it. If you hit a wall and you didn't, you didn't necessarily have the option to do that. And I, I think it's good that like, that is no longer the case. I think, um, I think giving, giving people the option and again, it, it, it is the option and there's no cosmic entity. There is no judge on high that is recording every single move you make in a video game and being like, ah, you switched it to easy mode for this thing. Therefore you go to hell. It's good to have the option. And I think we got to like remove the stigma of doing shit like I that. I don't even think it's, it's a stigma. You just got to live with yourself. You set a goal for yourself, and if you can't meet that goal, like, that's a perfectly normal human reaction, not necessarily with, like, video games, but, but like, yes, that you applies. failed yourself. <laughs> oh, no, 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 there, there, there absolutely is a stigma in video games. Specifically, Pedro is quoting that exact fucking post that, that vocalizes that stigma, so... Oh, I wasn't arguing if there was a stigma in video games about it. I was like, that's just, like, that applies to everything, though, you know? You're yeah. like, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this. It's a good thing that we can't put life on easy mode because we'd all be on story mode. It's the whole like adopting a process oriented mindset and not being results oriented, right? Like you got to be in there for like the long haul and for doing the thing, not actually accomplishing it. So let me know in the comments. Do you have a problem with like just switching up <laughs> in and out with video game? Like where you're just like, you know what? I'm just going to nerf this down for a bit. And what do you think like an adaptive difficulty? Like I've never even had a like reasonable time with that. I'll just put it in like default settings usually good enough. Sometimes I have to kick it up. I, this is the first time in recent memory that I've had to dial it down, but I, I, I knew it was in that mode because then I started, after I got past the boss, I'm like, I'm just nerfing shit left and right. And I'm like, this is boring. Because <laughs> yeah, you need that uh, level of challenge. At least and, I do. Uh, adaptive difficulty also comes with the, the issue that the system needs to work because, um, well, uh, if you uh, know Civi11, uh, you should watch his videos. He's very funny. Uh, he uh, did a video on Max Payne uh, this week, and Max Payne is a game that had an adaptive um, difficulty, supposedly, except it's broken. It's entirely fucking broken. Are you talking about the and, original Max Payne? Max Payne? Yeah. Like, yeah. why would you expect that to work? <laughs> That's the thing. That's, like, a glaring example, because it's fresh in my memory, because I saw his video. It's like, yeah, no, that, that shit's just... In Completely Ad broke. <laughs> Ad adaptive difficulty is also a little gaslighty because it's like, did I actually overcome this challenge or did the game throw me a pity fuck? Because yeah. like, like when, when the game AI fucks up and super hard boss just like falls in love with a corner and yeah. lets me just beat his ass for yeah. 20 minutes, I'm cool with that. I will call that a legit win. Well, you but see, this is another part of the thing. So I'm playing this and like, I'm going to say all three of us, we probably think differently because we know what a fucking vision cone is and we understand <laughs> like where you're paths are going to be i'm cheesing my way through darksiders 3 when i get a chance if i'm like i don't want to deal with this motherfucker let me find out how far can he walk or right, can i do that can i reach him with that all right i'll just sit here for like a minute and a half and kill him like watch i don't have a problem the, doing that don't even think twice about it the one that clicked for me is like your player character walk speed is almost like double the enemy walk speed so you can just outrun anything at any time mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. straight up you, you do not have to get, you do not have to fight these guys. You I gotta just say, to one survive. of the beautiful things about, like, they yeah. were trying so hard to Dark Souls fucking Dark Darksiders 3 is that it's very much Dark Souls and you can just run by everything. You don't yeah. have to fight anything. Hey, Jordan, he's... outside of uh, playing with your wax rings, what you been up to, man? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, I tried to take them to the fires of Mountain Tomb, but they melted ahead <laughs> Yeah, on the way. Like, God damn it. <laughs> it's like, ah, fuck. I should have paid $20 for the rubber thing. Yeah, <laughs> the, the rubber ring to rule them all. Um, uh, yeah, no, uh, uh, home renovations, got rid of all my fucking garbage. It's, it's just, it's, Part it's nice. for the Casio keyboard. It's so weird. It feels illegal to walk through my house and not walk into shit. It's this very like empty thing. I had this sense memory of like, I'm moving out, but I'm not, I'm just getting rid of all my garbage, <laughs> but this is the same process you go through when you're moving. You're like, what do I actually want to transport? 
Oh, not yeah. you, not you, not you, not you. But there's yeah. more of a difficulty multiplier because you only have to move this stuff once and never see it again. You don't have to worry about yeah. like unmoving it. Yeah. You know, yeah, you yeah. Like load and unload. You're like, nope, just, this is just oh, all. Yeah. Yeah. Lo- load it in the box. Box, right. go away. Pedro Mateus. <laughs> you, you never answered my question, man. There's just this... I don't know what you were talking about. <laughs> I never know what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> see, that's a secret. <laughs> You think it's a bug, oh, but it's okay. not, Jill. It's, it's a fault mothering right. feature. <laughs> All right, so we're not going to play along with the joke. What have you been up to? It's been interesting to learn um, to only focus on the one thing at work. <laughs> you only worry about the uh, Confluence and Jira instances. Oh, that feels refreshing. There's still a lot of work to do because there's a lot of people using it, but it feels refreshing to only have to worry about the one thing <laughs> until you just become the jira guy yep. and then all the jira problems go to that, you that's fine that's okay honestly for now having having seen the shit i'm very happy just dealing with the one thing yeah <laughs> okay what do you think the ticketing system for the horse is going to be Oh, the horse is still on track. It's it's old school. You got to run that shit off of Apache, Apache and your CGI bin. Oh, Pearl. It, yeah, mod mod Pearl statically compiled. It's the Steam. Yeah. So you think uh, you think Gabe really likes uh, Peter Gabriel? Pulled out the the sledgehammer this week. <laughs> So, He's uh, climbing yeah. up on Cell Hill. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 oh, come on. You, you guys suck. All right. But not, not as much as the botters who are ruining Team Fortress 2. Uh, so much so that Valve has decided, yeah, fuck you guys. We're just going to ban you. Uh, and that's it. If you get banned, you're fucked. Uh, they are permanent, non negotiable, and not removed by Steam support. Ma'am. So, yeah. So, if you, uh, if, uh, that, I mean, honestly, zero tolerance policy for botting and cheating is probably the easiest thing they can implement. I was, di- I was digging around the TF2, uh, forums and subreddits just to see if I can, like, get a sense of, like, how many people were banned, any details surrounding that. There isn't any. It seems like it was a manual ban wave. The bans are non negotiable. And, uh, and that's kind of, there, there's probably going to be more coming and it's good, right? Like you got to make TF2 playable for the people who want to play it and not go to the, what, what was that one site again? I, I, I spaced it on it, but it has the, all the TF2 servers, the community ones. Yeah, that one. That one. Go check no, our show notes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> two, 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 two weeks ago website. or some shit. Yes. 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 <laughs> Dude, uh, they fucking throw this down, man. Like, well, what's going to get you banned? Of course, cheating, manipulation, uh, botting intentionally interfering with normal opera. basically anything they feel like game bans for all of the above are not removed wow well, dude uh who can you tell me why well, i got but no can i feel my no <laughs> you you know what you did i was not using my yeah uh, my friend did it uh <laughs> my <laughs> little too, brother too, was using my yeah, account yeah, yeah, that's yeah, 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 but too, the answer too fucking that's, bad. no um can i move my team fortress to no <laughs> get get fucked <laughs> team fortress 2 game bans are permanent not negotiable will never be removed. I, I love, like, the entire tone of this. Whoever wrote this was like, fuck all sales, all right? <laughs> you made me do something. You right. made me yeah, do Somebody was mad at Valve people, for having it, People have been complaining over and over that uh, TF2 is broken and Valve isn't paying attention. And they, they created the hashtag fix TF2 uh, thing. And there was the big um, drive to, Push. like, get the community together. Yeah. Uh, to force Valve into action. So now Valve is just going, all right, if you're going to bitch about wanting to see th- those bots gone, then no one gets back in once they're gone. All right, cool. <laughs> and yeah, no, Valve doesn't like when that uh, level of attention's on them. They only tend to act when there's... A significant immediate awareness and push for them to act and this whole if, if they're going to be sued yeah yeah <laughs> uh, that'll do it man but they'll definitely hold that in grudge i've seen a lot like this definitely to what pedro is saying you might think of it like this it got him to implement the thing that i'm sure that they were already working on because you don't you don't spin this shit up in three weeks i'm sorry reddit you didn't do it uh, maybe you help like give them that push right it's been a few months, though. <laughs> you don't, I don't think you implement it in, this, in just a few months. 
Yeah, yeah. You, uh, I mean, I mean, Pirate Software had some uh, stuff about that where you basically just like spend a couple months collecting all the accounts and you do them all at once just right. to like stop mm-hmm. stop them up. from ever having a chance of adapting. Now you hope that um, there is a system in place because if they just did do a hard manual thing, it's not, it's not scalable. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You're gonna have to do it again at some point. And this is Valve, so <laughs> let's hope that they have a system in place. Now, none of us play Team Fortress Two, but it's one of those games that like Valve is just constantly. You know, I talked about it last time we brought this up. Like, they had no idea they were going to have to support this shit. Like, what, 15 it, years it, later? It was an add-in game for Orange Box. It was like, right. hey, here's, here's a bonus thing that came with Half-Life 2. And it was a remake of Capture the Flag uh, CTF World for mm-hmm, Quake. Yeah. Like, so, all right. If you play it, you're happy now. Uh, go forth and uh, shoot your pew-pews. But something that's a bit more exciting, I think, for everyone is we're going to be able to play... I'm telling you here first, this is breaking news. Roblox, coming to your Steam Deck. Guaranteed. <gasps> this one comes from Brad Lynch on uh, formerly Twitter. It's about some fresh Deckard copium to hold on to. And it's about SteamDB. They, they went on SteamDB and they found a couple of unknown apps that were linked back to the uh, uh, Steam VR package, which, you know, the, the whole Steam Deckard uh, thing is supposed to be the new uh, big VR thing for Steam. And... One of the things was the lab, which already existed and it just reused a bunch of the artwork. The other thing was Waydroid, which is not new, but it's new on Steam. If you've been using Wayland and if you've had the uh, the itch or that one Android app that you really want to run on your desktop, you probably Netflix. have... <laughs> you probably have uh, tried the uh, Waydroid way of doing things, and it is... Uh, one of the things that he mentions is um, it's almost native performance, and he's not kidding because it it's quicker. Uh, I have a passively cooled Chromebook. It's an Acer R11. It's old, and it's passively cooled, so it's very, very slow. And I remember starting the Android container on Chrome OS would take over a minute for it to actually show you the things. Uh, just having regular Linux installed on it and installing Waydroid, it takes about 30 seconds for the Android OS session to start. It's like 30 seconds, like half the time that, that it did on Chrome OS. That's, that's good. That's very good. And yeah, you can run games and you can run everything else with basically the native performance that whatever you're running it on can afford, which is awesome. And seeing games like Roblox, Fortnite, <laughs> uh, ZZZ, Gen- Genshin uh, Impact, yeah. Genshin the, Impact, uh, stuff in, in, like that. Big booby anime shooter here. Yeah, all the Android games just running really, really well on the Steam Deck. I think the big one is going to be introducing uh, controller compatibility for games that don't necessarily support it on their Android versions, which there are a lot of. <laughs> So yeah, actually we'll throwing Steam input into that might be a very, yeah. very interesting modifier. Yeah, I just in general, bringing Android support into Steam, although I'm not sure how Valve would necessarily feel or about uh, being a front end for the Play Store, nor am I certain how Google would feel about Valve being a front end or for the... Yeah, the I don't uh, think Google yeah. would mind if the my Play Store was a real is, yeah. <laughs> Like, I've never played around with Waydroid. Like, how does it deal with, like, you know, the stuff that you paid for from the Play Store? How do you get that? If you are just setting it up, you have to register that device uh, as uh, a developer device. Okay. Otherwise, you can't uh, use the place. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. All but right. if they're integrating this directly and if you're, they're not using the Play Store exactly, they're just using it as a way to load an APK, then you don't even have to worry about that. Hmm. I mean, it's it still probably wouldn't stop Google from trying to sue them or something, but like... Uh, not really. Android as an operating system is effectively the, the Play Store, Pedro. Yeah, the no, Play Store. That's the thing. You don't have to have the Play Store. You can just have Android to run an APK. <laughs> that worked out super well for Amazon, right? <laughs> it it worked out very well for Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And only Fortnite because they got kicked off. Of <laughs> that's the thing. It, it is an option. It is not the ideal option. But then again, all of the Android stuff is going to be obfuscated because if it is going to be running in the background, and if you well, use I, Waydroid, you know that you can just start an app, and it doesn't 
you uh, might uh, see the Android background for a second, but then you just get the app. That's it. <laughs> no, and, and like ultimately, if this pans out, I think this is going to be uh, really cool. I think the uh, the the demo that they showed was it like running in uh, in v- in a VR session via Game Scope. So yes. that's kind of neat. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm down with it, man. Like more reasons for people to buy a Steam Deck. I mean, if you make it seamless, you know, that's it. We've already we we kind of know where the line is. Like how much people will go through to like get their emulators up and running on Steam 69. Deck. It's nice. <laughs> and uh th- this is good. Minecraft. Hey. Yeah. Done. Yeah, no. bad rock edition Minecraft. <laughs> Dude, um yeah, more, more games playable on Steam is is just good in general, right? And yeah. mm-hmm. you know, this is Valve. Maybe Valve's already sent uh, a letter to um, Google, like they did to Nintendo, and be like, "Y'all motherfuckers are gonna sue us." I, I mean, there there is precedent for Google and Valve working together because of like uh, the the Glassfish stuff, right? Like the the, the Mesa project. They were mm-hmm. both collaborate. They're both heavily funding that. And even though that got like split apart, I don't think that was any thing due to an ideological thing was just like hey we're grabbing all the mobile people hey we're grabbing all the pc people great and i don't think anybody likes working with valve uh not out of like you know (laughs) they're bad or anything they just like they're gonna do what they want when they want yes yeah (laughs) there's no like prodding valve i was like get wrecked Revolve. I think it would be in Google's interests to have say the play store as a thing on Steam because that would just mean more money for Google as well so it, nah, yeah. dude, nah. Google's gonna release a ROM for the Steam Deck where you launch <laughs> Steam through the Play Store, so they get a cut. Oh no, no, no! It's, 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 it's Android for the Steam Deck and only Android. You can dual boot it's Steam a reverse, OS or Android. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, something we talked about in the pre pre super shows and was fighting games. Go back and listen to that if you're a patron. The interesting news, and I'm just this. This is just like this is too weird. For my brain to accept as truth uh, valve was and is probably still working on a new fighting game a new fighting game as opposed to their original fighting game which was uh remind me again jordan oh fuck it was um the name of it escapes me but it was uh it was um void, void art symphony would you say blade symphony blade symphony blade symphony was uh it wasn't made by valve that was made on the uh source engine <laughs> but it was a, a sword fighting game on the source engine, so yes, technically. Well, from Gabe Follower, you know, which is the Valve Leaky um, account on the X's, uh, says, I, I can't share much right now because I don't know more, but Valve was working on a, quote, air quotes, uh, fighting game for the last few years. I have no idea if it was canceled or not, which is, you know, it's a Valve. Valve is the Black Mystery Box um, of game development, to which... You know, do we want Valve Fighter Turbo Alpha 2 Championship Edition? Or or this is something we were debating. Are we going to get, you know, Super Steam Bros? Like, how, how would they Super even go Steam about Steam Bros that? Melee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super Steam Bros Balls. Yeah, and like, I, 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 that was like everyone's first thought, right? Like, because in my mind, the closest thing that Valve has to like iconic characters are like Gordon, Barney, and the TF2 Bufs. Maybe, and we were talking about this in the pre-show as well, like maybe bringing in some of the Dota characters to fill out that roster and like give them some more name recognition or something like that. And I, I think I they're I iconic know. to us, but the entire generation of um, people that are still playing like actively developed games like TF2, eh, we're stretching that, but definitely Dota. They're like Half-Life, what? Oh, that yeah. old thing, that game, that thing, oh, yeah. Yeah, kids that, play with that, like, right? Yeah, that, that was the game they put out before Auto Chess, right? Mm. <laughs> oh yes battle lords that's the other game that valve released that uh, got uh, shit uh, canned uh, very un- quickly underlords dota underlords <laughs> underlords oh. yeah underlords. <laughs> um yeah i don't know but like yeah, yeah maybe, maybe dota 2 becomes like the obscure capcom character of super smash bros because when you're on that char- <laughs> that character sp- select stream for super smash bros there's like mario luigi and like who the fuck is marth i never played fire emblem nobody knows who the <laughs> fuck this guy is <laughs> That's the thing, as Blade Symphony mentioned earlier, uh, it there was supposed to be like a remake or a remaster oh, of I, Blade um, Symphony. Yeah, it's on Steam. The guy's still working on it. It's just one dude. I got it. In my yeah, the, that that version is still getting up. It's a dick. It's supposed to be a re- realistic fighting swords. It's none of these things. Man. So, so yeah, it, it's still the original because it's still uh, on that same original build that they they started so with. Uh, would, the thing would you was say supposed it's... to be like a newer version of the Source Engine? <laughs> Would you say it's less of a Blade Symphony and more of a Blade one-man band? Sure. 
blade dysphoria. <laughs> blade dysphoria? Is that the fourth Blade movie, Blade Dysphoria? <laughs> Starring Wesley Snipes? I mean, would you not go see it? I would. I would all right. 100% That's go watch all that, that matters, movie. man. Uh, when was the last update for the uh, old Blade sim- Symphonic? Uh, last year, 2023. Patch mm-hmm. 7. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a thing. I've downloaded it, played it. I mean, it looks like, oh, that might be... F-. It's not. <laughs> not even a little bit. It's not enjoyable in the slightest. Like, kudos to the person updating it and maintaining it. And uh, Oh, they have a gun blade? Cool, I can be like... Mm-hmm. What's his yeah, name the, from Final the, Fantasy VIII? They made the game free to play, but if you want to uh, buy the weapons and whatnot, that's the what's left of the monetization scheme. But I had a look at their Steam forums, and the developer is just basically saying no one's buying anything anymore, so the game isn't making any money. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, all you have to do is play it to figure that out. <laughs> you know, it's a thing of a different time. From, like, 2014, people might have been... Because, uh, like, I, I paid attention to this because it was made available on steam for linux in the old old days before we had the protons and everything i'm like all right i'll try anything and uh just not terribly enjoyable but that's gonna wrap us up for the steam news we got not zero but one (laughs) new game to talk about this week (laughs) one game that deserves a mention just for the sake of it because it has a native linux version mini party yes i say it's it's relevant for us because we well, yeah, the, the, the after show games, games. Yeah. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but it is, it is very much, we have stumble buddies at home with uh, a few extra game types here and there. There's the, the football, there's the uh, dodge the bombs, there's the get from one side of the course to the other, there's the driving uh, that stumble buddies also has. It's a party game and it's trying to be as simple as possible, although those pickup icons, yeah. the little lightning bolts, uh-huh. those look very revolty like it's revolting dangerously so uh like the rc car game is that your sticking point like f this i'm out (laughs) no my sticking point is uh this is uh, very much taking some cues from uh stumble buddies or stumble guys whatever the game is actually called (laughs) when they say land mode is it actually online or do i gotta set up like wire guard or some shit no dude it's like hot dog mode (laughs) <laughs> so I, ju- I, ju- I just try and throw hot dogs at people 100 percent. yeah no it's, a, it's lan or couch co-op that's it no yeah. actual multiplayer multiplayer party <laughs> game and i was like say the line bart it's like single player only <laughs> well it, I, again land land so like if i if i go to 192.168 dot whatever dot or colon i don't know if you, you can use is. you can set up your own um wire card land <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, and, and that, that's, that's what I mean. I got to set up a, pa- a matchy. I got to set up like tail scale or something. It's got land yeah. PVP. I mean, you know, maybe it will only work, you know, on local host on your internet. But like, no, I, you, 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 to- only token ring support. No possibly. Ethernet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have to pre share. Remember the first time you set keys? up like a land? Did you, did you ever, did you guys are, were you of the age? Of, have you been, attended a land party? Were you too yes. young? I attended the one. There were more that happened, but I did not enjoy the social aspect very much. All right. I've been to a few. That was amazing. I remember the first time we got a group of people together and we took our bit. We played, um, oh, geez, Unreal Tournament, C2F, C2, uh, Face. Mm. Uh, which one was that? Face to Face or Facing Worlds? Facing Worlds. C2F Face is the name of the map. I don't remember. Oh, the yeah. sniper map with the castles okay. on it. Mm hmm. And, um, yeah, that was amazing because we had Windows people and all that, and I plugged in a weird ass Linux box, and it just worked. And I'm like, I can play with you because I had no um, great times. Don't miss them. So <laughs> let's go ahead and hop into the news with the most shocking thing to me that I thought Pedro would be giddy about because I, when I, I think about happy. mods, <laughs> I am very happy. I'm genuinely surprised that it's the actual Nexus people that are making a concentrated effort to bring an official app to Linux, which they have. It's an alpha. It's an app image. You can download it. You can try it. I had some difficulties getting the um, <laughs> getting the login to work properly because they don't give you an option to log in in the app. You have to go to the website and it the gives, you an NXM, yeah. gives you an NXM link. 
The problem is that I had NXM links already bound to Vortex, you know, the other mod manager mm. that's been around for a while that works. So Vortex just grabbed that link and it wouldn't let go. <laughs> if, if, so, if, if, you're, if, you, if you don't do have that set up, it just opens up. Yes, but yeah, it, 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 you can get it to work. And there's uh, they also set up a, um, a little desktop file to handle the MIME type of NXM if you didn't already have one. And it, it works. It, from what I could see, it found all of the, uh, the mods that I had left. Um, kudos or thumbs up or whatever they call them. Ratings on. And it, it's good. What I really want, because they, they clearly have the um, setting the mime type correctly and everything else. That's done. What I want is to have mod lists mod list compatibility which is has been the big thing for both vortex and mod, mod organizer 2 it is the ability to have like 100 oh, or 200 damn what what <laughs> yeah, no, what, Mac is, what, is, is currently what sitting moon in the universe desk. are we in lads <laughs> no mac os support i was looking at the system requirements for this thing and it's, they got you know a reasonable list of um Linux what? requirements and depths, and I'm like scrolling down, and it's like big red, and I'm like Mac OS is not New. currently supported. <laughs> what right. is what is X Herbo? That's what I want to know. When you're older, I'll tell you. There, but yeah, yeah, get I, up I, I, I'll show you. I mean, I rolled up some X Herbo and smoked that before the show, but uh, I don't. I'm getting sure like 100 one. or 200 mod lists going at once with a simple click for your Skyrims or your Fallout New Vegas or something like that. Yeah. That's a big selling point. Yeah. So yeah, especially in it's an app image, easy to get up and running on the deck. I I don't ever fuck around with the mods. I, I bring it back because I know Pedro's installed mods under Linux before. I, okay. There used to be a mod manager for Unreal on Linux way back in the day. And I don't even think it no longer works. I had a TK interface, dude, to tell you how long ago it was. That was the last time I ever fucked around with mods. Like Skyrim mods, I look at them and I'm like, oh, that's cool. You can have Rando, Rando the Macho Mando savage and skyrim and all the other stuff i'm like that's cool what do i do oh you oh under linux you got to go through an adventure more often than not patch patch some executive roles change some hex values here and there it's i'm really fun. happy that you can set uh an ext4 drive to be case insensitive what's, and if what's you the make... drive i just bought a steam deck i don't uh, drive because yeah that's the thing <laughs> steam yeah. Deck. Yeah. sd card be, yeah, what? the SD cards. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you yeah, mean yeah. my Nintendo thing? <laughs> yeah, your 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 Nintendo Game Boy cartridge that you cram into the back of your Steam Deck. This, this one doesn't yeah, taste the as thing good. that you pop out of the back here. Yeah, I know they changed the recipe. <laughs> they, oh, they, man. They, they shrunk them oh, too. It's shrinkflation. Oh, my my game cartridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're yeah. talking about. Now. Okay, that's a drive. <laughs> It, it holds like 512 gigs. At least that one does. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a pedal. It's not a drive. But yeah, it is it's surprising to have the actual Nexus people going, yeah, we'll do Linux because all the previous efforts um, outside of R2 mod man, sure. Um, but hey, Vortex, give them credit, man. R2 mod man works like a motherfucker. That works. That legitimately works. Uh, because Vortex, no Linux version. Um, mod organizer, mod organizer too. No Linux version. Uh, the previous Nexus mod manager that they used to have, the old .NET one, no Linux version, and that shit barely worked Do with you, Lime, uh, so... <laughs> what's the over-under on, like, STL getting this cooked into their solution? Like, uh, honestly, not... If it's going to be Linux native, they probably won't even have to have a lot of work, because, yeah, the, if they... If they were willing to put in the work to get uh, Vortex and Mod Organizer 2, just there, mm -hmm. available, that this is not going to be that much work at all. <laughs> yeah, oh, so, man. So, so what, you, you think by next week we're going to be talking about the matting support for this in? Oh, 100%. Probably. Nah, <laughs> or they or, might or, or, wait or, or, until it's more cooked. But or, yeah, um, I'm, I'm like thinking, is it going to be next week or is it going to be next month? Are we going to are we going to forget this thing exists? And then they're going to be like, oh, we added it to all the things. Or, uh, yeah. I'm just saying good on you, Nexus Mods. The uh, first thing I learned, I, you know, I posted this, I downloaded it, ran a CH mod, it boom, popped up. And I was like, wait, I have a Nexus Mods account? Neat. Um, logged into that. Didn't have any mods, of course. And again, like 
it's got to be like crazy low friction, something like this. I can just pop open, select a thing. I'm like, oh, I'll try that. Yeah, that's about where I'm at. So good job, everybody. Weird universe we're living in and uh, pour yet another one out for our brothers and sisters in Mac OS. They just got to keep rolling, 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 rolling. Uh, you need to be very careful while rolling because Hypnodolphin compels you. I can't you. make dolphin noises, you, otherwise you, I wouldn't. You, 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 you got to breathe in, breathe out, hands you up, have, or like, hands epilepsy down. epilepsy warnings and shit like that. We, we need one for, like, Hypnotoad warnings. Right. On this one, dude. <laughs> yeah. So, Dolphin, they have, a, they have an announcement. Uh, dolphin 6.0 is canceled. It's not going to exist. Now you get rolling releases, all thanks to the magic of continuous integration and quote unquote, easy to use Git merge tools. I put that, that's, that's not from them. That is just for me working with developers. <laughs> they don't know how to use Git. Um, yeah, so they have, uh, so they're, they're talking about the release process. They're talking about how they're going to be uh, do, handling the versioning going forward. It's going to be date stamped. They're going to be uh, Git hashes on the builds. This is going to allow them to push out um, new features and push out bug fixes a lot faster than uh, than they were previously because they had uh, essentially feature freezes. So if there was a bug, you had to wait till everyone got their code together in order for it to uh, be sent out to people. Now they can respond pretty easily. They also have a new logo that is barely distinguishable from the old one. What are you talking Patreon. about? Like, this is like, whoa. Whoa, it's the, <laughs> wow. completely, completely Dude, different. Are you kidding oh. me? Like, that's like... <laughs> Pretty okay, much. <laughs> so it's clearly more saturated, and the geometry also seems to be a lot less rigid. It seems a little softer. Listen, th listen. Th 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 thank you, thank you for explaining my joke for me, Pedro. I, I really <laughs> oh, it's it. fun, isn't it, guys? I love it. Uh, it's so, more round. <laughs> we, we get our original logo as somebody who arts uh, on the occasion. This is like, oh, I had that flat. I went and dig up, and I said, add bezel. Boom, done. A new one. <laughs> Shading. Basically the same thing, but it's a bit more flat. More it's, it's, it's got some gradient to it. Yeah, it's 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 a, it's a little, little fin, more sweepy lines. The fin is a little not quite as aggressive. Doesn't go raw or so hard. Yeah, the the, the, the little the, the little the inside wave is already face. on it. Yes, uh, yeah, the, the, already the, the, on the other one. It's just the wave that is this a little one, shorter. Like the lighter blue is a little more saturated, a little more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> it, clearly there was a board graphic designer who needed to rework something. I don't know if you're gonna change your logo. I, I guess I appreciate just trying to like progress it a little bit, but yeah. like. Don't don't yeah dude uh, no 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 don't uh le don't, don't, don't don't do the don't do the Google thing yeah because there, there there's a line there right leave there is so much to be said about being able to quickly visually identify something like if you've gotten something a project that's been around for a decade five years three years don't don't go, don't change it to like oh it was dolphin what is it now oh it's a it's a ham I'm like it's a, it, no don't you like Authenticator being a butthole now <laughs> I don't use Google Authenticator thank you very much. Ah, uh, uh, the the thing that annoys me is Google Maps because I keep looking for like the map icon, but it's not the map nope. icon. Now it's just a pin. The hack I have is when I pull that up, I've memorized left, <laughs> center, right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I memorized yeah, yeah, yeah. the coordinates. Yes, where it is. that's, yeah. that's the only way I can do it because as soon scroll, as I make, like actually yes. focus on it, my brain goes, Ding! which one's map. which? Yeah, yeah. My hack is I have. On, on one of the home screens, uh, screens, I have a block of four maps as the icon, <laughs> so that uh, my odds of me selecting that one Dude, are I tried to put increased. them, like, all in a bubble, and, like, <laughs> no, my brain's still short-circuited when I open and expand it, and I'm like, it, uh, that one. Yeah. <sighs> Again, I'm, I'm, I'm of two minds of it. Yeah, to, to what Ben said, it's good to, like, if you're going to change your logo, make it basically indistinguishable from the old one so people, like, or know what it is. some but... strong visual clues, like... Right. Or if you're, you're going to change it, Maybe talk, think about like a new visual identity. I don't know. It's a dolphin. There's only so many ways you could have a dolphin that's not all creepy. Maybe lean into creepy dolphin. Maybe Give that's feet. what we need. I dare you. See, you have to be careful with feet. creepy dolphin because no, Sega might Go have ahead. some uh, echo uh, lawsuits. No, no, sn <laughs> snorky talk man, motherfucker. Oh, like <laughs> thousands of years ago, our people retreated into the sea. <laughs> echo the dolphin. That's the game I played on the Game Gear the most. And that uh, was from Ocean. Remember the ocean, the developer ocean. Mm -hmm. oh, wow! But it, it, yeah, no, it's it's good. It, that's a good <sighs> thing because they were talking about the um, they uh -huh. were talking about how all, during the freeze periods, they <laughs> <laughs> Jordan's acting like a seal, and I don't know how to react to that. Uh, <laughs> Give me a fish. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the. <laughs> Uh, the, they were talking about how during like the code freezes, 
a bunch of developers just hated it and some of them just said you know what we're not dealing with this shit and just left and never came back uh, so there was very much an incentive to not scare people away during those freezes and i it's legitimately a good idea uh just Dolphin started like a lot of projects did and uh, they're like emails maybe some forum mm-hmm. posts like that was our management system yeah <laughs> yeah and version management it, it makes uh it makes sense what they're trying to do what i don't entirely agree with that is that they're going we'll never have a stable release again mm-hmm. don't uh say that even if you don't want to call it a stable release my just brother call and it- pasta let me tell you about arch all right you don't know what you're missing <laughs> All right, every let me, let me, day let me, let me, is an adventure. Jordan, what did you <laughs> fucking think of? That's driving me crazy. Okay, <laughs> it was just going to be, we need a gritty Dark Souls Echo the Dolphin reboot, where you can do Dolphin, dolphin Rolls. Roll. Yes. Dolphin <laughs> Souls. Dolphin Souls. That's, dolphin that's, Souls and Dolphin th- Rolls, baby. This is what I was holding on to. Thank you. Thank <laughs> right. you for giving me my time. <laughs> okay, and uh, the, the currency instead also, of being I Souls, try to, it's I want to try to get a job. No, no, uh, it's, it's yeah. fish. It's just fish. <laughs> can we get Pedro hired at SeaWorld? <laughs> Blackfish 2, <laughs> Pedro Mateus. Someone needs to make a dolphin noise. It's like right horrible. <laughs> that was a seal noise. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> Kiss from a rose, baby. 100%. Um, the Snapdragon reviews, the real reviews are starting to come out, and we, we talked about that. It's not amazing, but it's not shit either. It's, for, it's first gen. We're going to need to see some. We need software to catch up. We need uh, a couple new revisions of the hardware. But uh, speaking of software catching up, FX, they have some shit that they are proud to talk about. Uh, they have now, uh, with uh, FX 2407 now, uh, they are have support for AVX. And it's a little complicated. As- spoken. <laughs> Did you actually play the game? Do you have an actual opinion on I played it? I Metro, just- shut up. Or did you just have a regurgitated <laughs> I, one, Pedro? I, I played the, um, the demo that they made available. Uh, I played all through that shit, and boy, did I hate it. Yes. Okay. So, so Okay, so you have half an opinion. I can half respect mm-hmm. it. But anyways, uh, yeah, so they, they, they have AVX implemented on uh, ARM now, which is a big deal because a lot of games require AVX. Um, but there's a little bit of a problem here. Dude, uh, that is yes. the game console we never got. Yeah. <laughs> The 128 bit. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I saw that and I'm like, oh man, it's for Riggedy Real. It's the Nintendo 128. Uh, but so here, here, here's the deal. Uh, AVX on x86 either, um, either has a 512 bit interface or a 256 bit interface. And a lot of the functions that you would use AVX for are mappable to uh, SVE hardware on ARM. And so you would think, oh, all we have to do is map all the AVX calls to the SVE hub calls. Bada bing, bada boom, we're happy. The problem is that most ARM hardware these days only has 128-bit SVE hardware. Theoretically, it, uh, ARM can support a higher bit rate or a higher bit uh, SVE interfaces. Uh, and they were saying that eventually 256-bit ones would come out, but n- these things don't exist yet. So now they, they had a decision to make. Try to hack 256-bit AVX onto 128-bit SVE or not have AVX at all. So as per the blog post, they say bad AVX is generally better than no AVX. And so brainy wunderkind Lisa Rosenweig, you might remember her from take, she, she decided to take a break from just slapping around Apple engineers and explaining why their drivers are shit and how to make better <laughs> ones. And has decided that she is just going to implement the 100, 256 bit AVX on 128 bit AV, uh, SVE. It works. You can get in game. Uh, they get uh, menu f- uh, screenshots for Forspoken, Death Stranding, Monster Hunter, uh, Metro 2033, Crisis 3, and Hellblade 2, which is impressive. It might run like shit, but they they run on hardware that they were never intended to. There's, which a, is dope. Jordan, Jordan, there's a screenshot of what I can only imagine is Pedro's perfect game. A game where Doki. he plays nothing but a giant sword. I was going to say Doki Doki <laughs> Literature Club. Uh, I- Clearly, I see some anime legs. There under is that. if you squint, but uh, <laughs> I see some hair, like a like a hairdo. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, like a listen, I didn't say the sword couldn't have pom poms. <laughs> you can have a pom pom sword. It's DLC though. Oh wait, no. Oh, yeah, no I, battle pass. I, wait, I'm a big fan. The, 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 a big, fan of the big chunky sword. Yes. <laughs> And the the thing that I because I went pixel peeping on the Hell Divers two uh, screenshot. 27 FPS! Granted, that's the tutorial, and there's nothing happening, there's no explosions, there's nothing. Uh, it's literally just the character looking at the sign off in the distance. That's impressive. That's 
legitimately impressive, very, very good. And yeah, why would you spoil that by starting the article with fucking Forspoken? <laughs> I mean, listen. You, you, can, you, you can spoil it with Hell Divers instead. Make no, I mean, <laughs> listen. AVX is so powerful it didn't immediately like break out of the console, kick down the back door, and run out screeching into the night. That poor little arm CPU <laughs> having to put up before spoken. Um, listen, they they had the decency to put it on a AMD seventy a W seventy five hundred Pro. Come on. Yeah, the, the NVIDIA Orin SOC with a Radeon <laughs> a W seventy five hundred. Well, I, I, I mean, <laughs> would, would, would you want to tango with the NVIDIA blob drivers on ARM to try and get no, something no, like no, that no, working? That, that, that's, that's legit. I'm just saying well played on a green CPU with a red GPU. I mean, listen, if you're going to test something, you might as well give it as many fuck boxes as you can, right? <laughs> yeah. Beautiful job. Um, how does this benefit us? I mean, what, so when we finally have good ARM CPUs from you, Qualcomm, that are not in- attached to $1,200 laptops that I don't want? Uh, are we just going to be able to like, load up Linux and start playing games, or what? I mean, you'll have to load Fex on top of that, yeah, but... You have to set yeah, up Fex if- and, and the environment <laughs> for that, but, like... So when the I, ne- I, what you're saying is the new Steam Deck is confirmed to be ARM... <laughs> Well, and, 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 and we'll just have facts loaded. Well, yeah, and, out and, of the box, and, yes. and, and and that's like very real. Is that like Proton might just magically handle this out of the just behind the scenes, right? You yeah, do right. like mm-hmm. a. So well, you, you just know that it, not all, maybe not all of it, but a large chunk of it, it's just going to just work, right? You hit the play button on Steam, and, and I say that ma- knowing nothing happens. about the graphics stack. But <laughs> the, that's the thing. If you can keep using Radeon graphics on ARM, eh. Uh, Ma- once you start getting into the Mali side of things, uh, yeah, yeah, that's pa- uh, Pan Frost. Yeah. yeah, they're working on that. That's that's in progress. Th- that's that's legitimately bad. That's when you have a bad time. But that's that's major progress, and that's really really good to see. <laughs> I wish him the best of luck. All right, moving on to the last story of the night. Uh, we got to pour what out for the game industry. The poor. Poor uh, upstarts, uh, the little scrappy indie teams like Microsoft and uh, all the other ones. Revenue from game subscriptions like Xbox Game Pass, because, you know, let's face it, Game Pass comes to mind when you hear game subscriptions, uh, has barely grown in two years. How much is barely? It's only up 1%. Oh, it, oh it's not going? No. Is it neutral? No, no, it's, it's gone up. Just only, only 1%. Unacceptable. Completely. <laughs> throw it out. <laughs> Gotta ba- throw ba- it out. Maybe bathwater. Yeah, all of it. Sorry, my infinite growth can't hear you. So, (laughs) you know, and this is across the board, like, but, you know, I'm thinking, you know, Game Pass, everybody I talk to who has Game Pass are like, it's fucking great. And like, seems to be, right? It's It's, like an incredible value. Like, hands down, the best deal for gaming. And I've often said if like Steam had the equivalent of that, and like, yeah, I'd get Steam Pass. But I don't think this is, uh, there's any controversy tied to this. It's killed game sales on xbox just xbox has turned into i'll wait for it to show up on game pass like why mm. why would i go spend 60 70 dollars for this game it's, it'll be on game pass that's why you can blame microsoft for that because they bought the studio specifically to do so <laughs> well and, and, and like th- 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 this is a thing where like microsoft would be able to do this in a, in a way that like valve couldn't necessarily because my, it, it essentially just becomes a giant revenue sharing scheme, right? Where the proceeds from Starfield also in some degree fund uh, Hi-Fi Rush and stuff like that. Because uh, it's, it's all under the same hood. Um, but yeah, like uh, speaking of, this is, this is why Hi-Fi Rush can be a critical success and tank financially. Yeah. Also the fact that they didn't promote it at all. Um, right, it was a stealth yeah, release. You're like, yeah, hey. Uh, and why, why is no one buying this game? Oh my, ugh. You know, That's the, m- thing. M- the game actually sold very well for the no marketing that it had. It's just well, there's yeah, the like, expectation that you have to keep growing year on year. You have the shareholders going, "Why aren't you making more money this year than you did last year?" Well, Mr. Booty, uh, one, one, one of Xbox's <laughs> game studios persons, he's saying uh, we want to focus want on that name. <laughs> yeah. you, you, you want you want Pedro, some booty. You, you are talking. You uh, listen, dude. You live in a country where you can download a fucking form and mail it in. Won't cost you a dime. <laughs> I know. All right, <laughs> but just, like, wait. I think name, it's like just have the name Booty. It's like mm. yeah. Pedro mm. Booty. 
Calipidges. It's it's, 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 it's P booty. booty. Yes. P, yeah. P, P booty. That, that's that's what it is. It's like you know. Never mind. I'm I'm gonna back out of that one. Good. On uh, but yeah, they uh. But, <laughs> uh, but but booty booty is saying uh, they want to focus on high impact titles. Um and. This means that they want essentially premium sales. We were talking about the uh, marketing analytics a couple weeks ago, where premium purchases are making up what, like forty percent of all game sales. And so th this seems like it's going to be a shift. Uh, are we going to see stuff like Game Pass's price increase and like uh, the more affordable tiers are going away? Because what it seems what it seems to be happening, and we're seeing like Netflix do this as well. They're getting rid of the ad supported tier. Uh, Amazon Prime is now injecting ads into their Prime Instant Video thing uh, because and and raising the subscriptions the strategy being if we can just get more whales we don't care if fewer people are subscribing overall if we can get fewer people who will spend more money that's who we want to go after fuck all the rest of these guys um we see, we've seen this in mobile games as well so I, I don't know is this sort of like the future where a move like this would need to go for microsoft that is the mobile uh move is to target the whales we but... target the whales but here's my like Two things I'm going to say about this is Microsoft buying all these studios. Then the knee jerk is like, where are the games? The games take a long time to make. Now, anybody watch the Microsoft showcase or like, oh, that's what y'all motherfuckers are up to. Not defending Microsoft here. Um, they are played a bit of a long game on this. Like they do have a strategy with a bunch of games. And are like, okay, as long as you like Samurai games, they got you covered <laughs> in the future, man. And Avowed. Avowed is not entirely Samurai. <laughs> right, and like the one that looks like, uh, here, here's the western version of Final Fantasy. I'm genuinely curious about Avowed because it is very much, we have Skyrim at home, and they already have Skyrim at home! It, so. That's the thing, it's, uh, what if Skyrim was Outer Worlds? Uh, that that, yeah. that seems to be the vibe that they're going what, for, which... What, what if Skyrim is Outer Worlds and Pillars of Eternity? Which, I, again, I'm super yes. into. I am... All right. ha, ha, yeah, but, like, and, and go on. Now, here's the thing, dude. Um, it, of course it's going to slow down because people aren't buying Xboxes. Everybody wants an Xbox, has an Xbox. They got one. They probably bought one early Game Passes out. Like, oh, it's cool. It's a good reason to keep your Xbox around. So here's what I want to know. Where is, where, where even is this growth potential? I want to know if you're in the audience, if you're somebody, I've yet to meet this person. And I, I want your like logic behind it because I, somebody's like getting ready to type in and they're like, you can use Game Pass on PC. And I'm like, true. I know people use Game Pass on PC, but they have an Xbox. I was even doing, I was asking Ogi that, and I was like, yeah, you, you got a Game Pass. He was like, yeah, but I got an Xbox. I'm like, it, it, was, it was just like a knee-jerk thing. I was like, oh, yeah, I didn't get it for PC. Is anybody out there getting Game Pass? Do you have Game Pass currently at home and no Xbox? Does this person exist? Because like, that's the only growth potential game pass that i see right now because i don't think any amount of exclusives early titles all that going on is going to get somebody to buy an xbox and i don't think people buy game pass for pc often right i don't know I maybe don't know. i think i'm curious i want to know maybe maybe x I, I i don't know i've long suspected that eventually xbox may just transition into a service period it is no longer a piece of hardware that you buy and it is just microsoft's gaming service they could easily do that they they have the everything in place to do that already they're microsoft uh but so, yeah, yeah no, so, there so, was, sort of like what they did with zoom yeah uh, there's uh, there was already the move uh by that one team of like two or three people that got the game pass working on steam deck it involved a lot of steps it involved loading the uh, uh edge flat pack and giving it permissions to access the controls and everything but there's a very popular you know gaming handheld going around that would make a lot of sense for Microsoft to make the client available on Steam. <laughs> the MSI Claw? Yeah. It's got RGB, bro. <laughs> I, oh, man. I, I, I got to get off this fucking ROG rock. ally, because it's actually yeah. available in countries like Australia. <laughs> there was a ROG ally on my fucking auction site. How much? Over 300. It, it went for over 500. I was so Fuck. sad. I, I was hoping to scoop it for like 150 at most. Because oh. I'm like, who the, who the fuck actually wants this thing, right? People Aside who are Linux me. nerds, they don't know better. Like, they yes. look at the Steam Deck and they're like, ah, that's Linuxy stuff. Like, maybe they know that much, but they, they have the familiar, they, they, have, they have the false hope of like, I know Windows, I got this. And they, they get to experience Windows yeah. on a 
handheld device, then it goes back onto the auction site. Right. And, the worst and like possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and like straight up, I literally want it to like put in a frame and like sh- and put it on my wall as like a curiosity. Right. It's, it's, it's that thing in my den, like the mounted lion. Head. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 All right. And here's and here's my rog ally. It's right next to my Nokia N-Gage. It's my mm. Y wall. How do people feel in general about like game subscription services? Like because, you know, I, I see that brought out. We talk about Valve a lot. We talk about the Steam Deck a lot. Why? Because, well, I mean, it, they have native Linux clients and they've been around the Proton Steam Deck. A bunch of great stuff has come out that a lot of other projects have benefited from. And, you know, and it did start with like Unity having a Linux export option. Like, whoa, what's going on? But where do you, you have that understanding when you talk about, Valve, like, well, you don't really own the games. Like, yeah, we all get that though, right? Like, is, is that even in the conversation? Does, does, is there anybody out there who's going, wait, what? I'm like, well, it's a license to play it. So this is where and maybe this is overlapping a bit with like the hit mill segment. But this is where I think like streaming games like actually have like a valid niche. If you're going to be paying for a subscription service, Mm -hmm. Stadia making people just fucking buy the games as opposed to like pay us a 100 bucks a month and you can play whatever you want. Right. Like. Right. Or, you know, if it's like 10 bucks a month, then you get a selection of game. Well, again, we'll get into it. Stay tuned Mm -hmm. for that. Pedro, do you have any closing words for our. uh do you, do you have any advice for Microsoft how they how they can juice up these uh, Game Pass sales? Give give Jordan ten million dollars. I think that's a great way to juice up Game Pass oh, sales. It'll, it'll fund our, <laughs> that's our the thing. I, souls. I, I, I already mentioned this last time when they the 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 thing for the Steam Deck is like you need someone to give you the hundred bucks to put a actual client on the Steam Store for Game Pass. Just make that available directly on steam do you need someone to give you the hundred bucks for that because i'll do it <laughs> i'll, I'll take a hundred bucks <laughs> there okay you then you put the official uh, game pass thing on do steam. it man uh, I, load, I absolutely uh, t- will pedro t- I, 100% t- will, edge, I promise you app image or whatever it is bookmark game pass upload it <laughs> totally not edge with game pass in a book they see how long you can just make it in one no sentence. no no it's it's the lutris i'm just gonna link the lutris installer for it in an explorer <laughs> there you go do it do it in ie6 though oh yeah, opera gx ie5 ie5 Ooh, deep cuts <laughs> ladies and gentlemen if you want to share your thoughts with us uh we make it real easy you can do it under the patreon post uh that's a good way to get in touch with us chat with you back and forth any chat system any of you're watching this on youtube i read the comments uh i know pedro reads the comments page uh jordan have you ever read a youtube comment under one of our I videos can- I occasionally go through the YouTube comments just to like try and preempt, which is going to be in the hate mail because it usually shows up, uh, usually shows up on on a Saturday. So I'm like, should I? I'm going to try and formulate a response or two in in the back of my head. Right on. And uh, the easiest way to do it is over at LinuxGameCast.com. I know we're old school. We got a website with a contact forum with a bunch of things. If you want to hop on a show, crowdfunding campaign, had somebody do. All right, dude. Okay, I got a big, nice little warning. Like press releases, all those <laughs> hyperlinks. Send that to this email address, and uh, I shit you not, in my inbox right now, I got a person who filled out the contact form asking where I should send that, where they should send their press release. You should ask them, like, I don't know, where do you? Okay, so they only read the first sentence? <laughs> no, 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 just you, you, no, you no, send them a, they, they send them an email. They didn't use the show email address. They just filled out the contact form asking where they should send it. So they blew mm-hmm. right by it. You should send them a picture of a spider and be like, hi, I'm returning this. I don't want it yeah. anymore. I'm like, they didn't even send a press release. They sent as, oh man, I was like, okay, you know what? You do you. We'll try it. This is a good way to get old to us. Uh, check that out over interfacing. Uh, I almost said interfacing Linux. You know what? I Go mean, there you should, too. You should also Fuck check you. out interfacinglinux.com, youtube.com mm-hmm. slash at interfacing Linux. Hey, that, which remember. doesn't work. Uh, not, d- not anymore. At, that's where I said. At. Oh, oh, you have to have the ad now. Okay. Yeah, that's, I, that's I didn't hear the ad. My bad. <laughs> yeah. You can do that. Uh, there we go. Coming up tonight, uh, one sweet, but definitely not short, because we were talking about, what was it? Luna last Amazon, week. Amazon, Luna, and Gog. Yeah. Yes. They are joining forces to make guna i don't guna know chessatron <laughs> yeah um and th- th- this comes from clint uh hope I, I, in my mind i'm gonna pretend it's clint howard and i said i use luna for playing lego fortnite i was too lazy to turn on my old windows gaming rig and download fortnite just to play once with my nephew and then delete it immediately after 
It wasn't great, but it was good enough for some Lego commercial branded Minecraft type crap. I have noticed that basically all popular ultra restrictive kernel level anti cheat games have a cloud gaming option now, either through Luna or GeForce Now. Imho, I think it's great because it's that's one less thing stopping people from staying on Windows, assuming they have a good enough internet connection. And yeah, like it's very, very true. Like if you want to play your Fortnites or your Destinies like on Linux, you can uh, you, you at least have the option to rent a computer from GeForce Now or whatever. Yeah, the fork knife Destiny 2, um, well, no, all for, of for, the for, others. For, Fortnite, you just sideload on Wadroid and you play it in your Steam VR session, right? Yes, you can. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> that is the legitimate use case for streaming is for when you have developers that have their heads so far up their ass that they actively, hostily refuse to support Linux. Destiny 2. Clint, you bring up an interesting point that I didn't even think about. How many times have you been like, oh, man, I want to play this game for, yeah, maybe, maybe for a little bit this afternoon. And you're like, right, that bitch is 68 gigs to yeah. download. There you go. Like, there's a <laughs> streaming case right there. I'm like, oh, I just, because it's a game I just want to fuck around in for a minute. You know, it's not a first person shooter. It's something like Lego. And I'm like, yeah, I want to play around with that. There you go. You don't have to worry about having it installed, which goes to show how impatient we are because what's it take to download 68 gigs like five minutes yeah well yeah. I, again again depends on your network connection if you're if yours is good enough to do some game streaming then you could probably download that pretty quick yeah <laughs> even if it ends up being but, 10 but, minutes that's just but, a good excuse to get up but and like, your legs. I, I, I think i think it just goes back to the point that like yes game streaming has a, a a large number of completely valid use cases but they tend to work best in tandem with actually owning the game and being able to run it locally as well mm-hmm Mm. And, it's, and it's, it's streaming not one or the other. Even yeah. streaming back, like, services like GeForce Now that tie on to the accounts that already have the games, those will always be better. It, it is. And, 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 and this is Luna, one of the things Luna that Stadia absolutely, positively, guaranteedly fucked up. They made you buy the whole fucking game. Mm. With Stadia. You're like, I gotta spend 60 bucks and I don't get anything. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody else figured this out except Google. Mm-hmm. No, everyone's going to want to have Stadia for the Controller. exclusives uh, and all of the. Uh... Look at this shill trying to plug your favorite stream. <laughs> I, I I had a lovely sushi lunch with a with a dude who I was chatting with, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I work on Stadia and blah blah blah." I'm like, "So uh, are you gonna brush up that resume?" Yeah. <laughs> so how long until you're not working on Stadia? <laughs> yeah, it's like I feel bad for you because if I knew that but it like if I knew that my project was going to get axed, but I have to like delude myself into into saying there is a future so that I can motivate myself to actually continue mm -hmm. going to work. You know, I think I'm on record as actually genuinely saying like when we were talking initially about the Stadia release, I'm like I think this is too big for Google to fucking kill. I was wrong, man. Mhm. Mm the only, yeah. the only thing, two things, there's going to be Mr. Rogers in his blood stained sweater and fucking feed burner are the only two things left on top of the sill. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be right after they kill Gmail and Google Docs. Yeah, I mean, whoever is in charge of feed burner has somebody on like one of the two founders, man. <laughs> I, I, I imagine it's like some god emperor of mankind shit where it's just like some dead dude like hooked up to a chair and everyone's oh. afraid to move the chair. It's the lizard people. The lizard people actually use feed burners, so they can. You better be fucking it. careful. These people are like, finally, man, you can it. <laughs> yeah. DM Those me, bro. We'll have a real conversation. I'll tell you Those how the world sexy, really Those sexy, sexy lizard people <laughs> going to their orgies, lion and giant piles, oh, combining their Listening to snake jazz. <laughs> Beautiful, to beautiful party people. <laughs> if you want to help fund this orgy, you can do that. Patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. We got a bunch of levels, bunch of rewards as a thank you for hanging out with us. As always, you watch a show for absolutely free and download it for free, but you know, we give you a version without ads, no YouTube, and you can download that. Don't worry about it. Pre pre super shows and live and uncut. You name it. We do some gaming streams. I do Trackmania. We got a private Trackmania server if you're a Twitch sub or a patron. Come play with us on Tuesdays and Fridays. We'd love to have you. Jordan's doing streaming on his outer world. Jordan's doing the free on Epic streams. <laughs> Pretty much. They, they keep putting up games that I was like, I'm going to wait until they go on sale. And then they go on sale for zero dollars. And I'm like, yeah, why the hell not? <laughs> right. I, 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 and I'm and in, in the back of my head, I'm like, 
I have to play all of these games at least a little bit before the Epic Game Store shuts down and I yes. lose them because those aren't actually my games. They're not actually free. I don't own them. <laughs> Fair enough. And uh, we got Libra Pay, PayPal, of course, uh, Magic Internet Money, but we also have an Amazon wish list if you want to pick up something for one of the hosts or the studio, send in a note. We'd love to read it and uh, publicly shame you for being fiscally responsible because we love you that much. And of course, store at linuxgamecast.com where you can get merch like Frank's Obey shirt and stickers that say naughty things. Yeah. You can't get this poster though because I only made one. Yes. So naughty. Great. Now, now I got to go back and bleep that. You motherfucker. I... <laughs> Let, let's, uh, yeah, listen, outside of all the F bombs and S bombs and whatever Pedro, else we, we said a, during this Pedro, show. We have a pure flex contract that we need to adhere to. We sign we all sign the morality. This podcast clause. is never gonna go mer. <laughs> we we to, let, let, we're listen, not we we're no longer being married. sponsored by ChristianMingle.com. We no, need to get all fans. married before we <laughs> can have sex. Okay? We established yeah, last week. Only, only feds, feds, yes. yes. No, it's, it's only it's, feds it's, now. It, 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 it's Fetty.sh, the, the, <laughs> the decentralized OnlyFans yeah, network. That, that's Fetty. what they mean like, that when they talk about federated timeline. Yeah, right, probably anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on that bombshell, it is time to cue the music. You can always catch us here live on Twitch, doing Twitchy things at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time on Saturdays. Jordan streams at 7.30 on Thursdays. I do weekly, daily Wednesdays on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. And uh, Tuesdays, Trek Mania is at 5 p.m. Eastern. It's all on the schedule over on Twitch. Go check it out. But if you want to get in touch with me, at Vinstone on X, Mastodon, Mastodon.LinuxTeamCast.com at Vin over there, and uh, I'm just the Vin Stone on Blue Sky. People are still rocking and rolling with that. And of course, go check out Interfacing Linux. I got a new video in the works. It's pretty dope. You know how people like to play around with old server hardware? I'm like, fuck it. Let's play around with some old broadcast hardware on Linux and see what happens. That'll be out coming soon. I'm Jordan. I'm your favorite marine life form. Feed me some fish. On Twitter at the Burning Fool, on Blue Sky at Frojo at Sky .app, or on Mastodon at Frojo .mast .linux .com. And uh, thankfully, this week we didn't have any other echoes outside of that one dolphin reference. So there's uh, there's that. <laughs> uh, if you can, uh, well, if, if you have uh, any ideas of what other dolphin games were actually good outside of Echo the Dolphin on the Game Gear, please do let me know. On <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Un, um, unaccounted for with the actual number four at mass.linuxgamecast.com All right, other Vin, roll those credits. It's time. That's the wrong button, other Vin. Get your <laughs> shit together. It's the Steam. No, oh, it's the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 a little scratchy cuddling, but we we got there eventually. We gotta thank all the people flying into space. We gotta thank our advisors. An effort was made Omega. regarding yeah. cuddling. <laughs> Omega, Sarthera, and we got our uh, executive producers. We got Barbara M. Scott, Atomic, Mike, Tomaj, David E. Shep, Ian, Kurducky, Haplo, 1234, and Drummer. And our Lundicky fans, Super Dust Dote, Empty, Gloris Eggroll, and Turbo Tree Sloth. And the same monsters, Renault, Rider X, Machina, Trudgy, Veritanuda, Justin, Darkwing, System D, Dancing Joe, DeKresny, Ogi One, and Frostclaw. And Death Notes, Nova, Chad, Romeo, Renee, Leonardo, Kim, Chris, Stephen, Jill, Benjamin, Doom, 2 Watt, Stephen B, Beck. Dodger, Zeno, Rue, Turnover, Pebble, M. Foxdog, Swine, Jalou, and Piper. There we go. <laughs> and of course, all our fine, upstanding cannibals, our fuck buddies, Carl, Mike, Arthur, and Linux, New Aldeus, Nicholas, John, Eshep, Gamatron, you know what, DS, Enjoy, Aromatic, Dev, and Kai, Joe, Rye, we thank you very much. Until next week, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, go install Game Pass on your Steam Deck. Install Edge first, and then Edge. Oh, it's bit. easier now. <laughs> Dude, somebody should make like a Netscape Navigator four flat pack. Yeah, yeah. Ships with the two point two kernel in the, in the names. Yes, yeah. <laughs> he did the rest of the Linux that you need attached to it to get that ship back up and running. Two Dynafly. gigabyte flat pack. Yeah. We'll see you next week. Five dudes.